and then double click on that to bring it up in the attribute editor. Middle mouse drag the fractal into the input and set the maximum to one on each of them. Middle mouse drag from the clamp back to the ramp shader, hit default, bring the uh, connection editor back up, expand output, and expand the UV cord, output R to U cord, output B to V cord. Close that off. Now when we render it again, save that so that you can see the difference, those artifacts are gone. You can see the difference in those two. For example, this little artifact before the clamp, after the clamp, before, after, before, after. So that gets rid of our artifacts. Now what we want to do is get the red and the blue out and have the grass and the two files in. We cannot use three colors on the ramp because there are only two coordinates on the texture, U and V. So if we double click on the ramp and we, oops, that's the Lambert, the ramp, and if I click on the blue and then middle mouse drag the grass to the blue, it's going to replace all of the, gra of the blue with grass. Now we want to get rid of the red and put these two in, but like I just said a second ago, if we were going to do it like that, we would need a third coordinate uh, to mix them together. So we're not going to do it quite like that. In your color utilities, we also have a blend colors. Click on that. Middle mouse drag one of them into color one, the other one into color two. Click your ramp shader again. Click your remaining color. Middle mouse drag the blend colors to that color. And when we re-render that, we now have the two types of dirt mixed together and then all of that mixed in with the grass. And that is building the shader network for procedural texture for a more interesting looking mountain.